Hey guys, it's me again. Um, we have a bark box that we have ordered and it came in. It was our, it's our first time, nobody. This video is gonna be kind of crazy because we have our co-host, co-host. Um, anyway, so the reason, okay, don't eat sister Ted. <laughs> it's real life here. Okay, bark box is a subscription box. I don't know if anybody's heard of it or what, but what had happened is, is y'all know I use Chewy. Um, that's where I get the dog food, cat food, and everything delivered every month. That I have auto ship. Well, what I do is when uh, when Chewy is when it's gonna ship in like three days, they'll send me an email in case I need to like update whatever I'm ordering. And I usually order them both a toy. Um, I have four dogs. I have two grandma dogs, and they're really old, and one of them's blind, and they, they don't play with toys. But these two babies, they do, and they love toys. Um, they chew on bones, like, sometimes, like, the nylon bones, but really they like their plush toys. Like, this is their basket. Um, so what I do is, like, when Chewy sends me the thing saying, hey, you know, go check, you know, to make sure everything's right, usually I'll put in a toy for them. Um, because they're spilled rotten and they love their toys. So, um, but as of lately, the past couple of months, the orders have kind of been off with Chew because everything's kind of in high demand. So I've been having to order early and stuff like that and not knowing when it's going to come in. Like I've been ordering more often to make sure that we get our food on time and all that. So I haven't been putting toys in with it or anything. So, um, and I haven't been going out to the store, so they haven't gotten anything new like they need anything, but, so I was like, I'm gonna try the BarkBox subscription, just to see how it is, and to show y'all, but, um, they have this one, and then they have, there's one called, um, Dapper Dog Box, and that might be the next one I try, I don't know, I know it comes with, like, a bandana and stuff like that, but anyways, um, so I got the Bark Box. this is what it looks like, I've already opened it up and looked at it, I didn't let them see the stuff in it, but, what it is, is you can go, and the subscription is, you can do like a one month, like you can do do it for a month, and it's a little more expensive, so I think it was like, it's close to 30, I believe, but then like, if you do like a six month subscription, it's a little cheaper, and it's like 24 if you do like a year subscription, but um, I just did the one time for now, just to see how, you know, but and also, when you go to BarkBox and they ask you, you know, like, because they put treats in it and stuff, so they'll ask questions about the dog, you know, if they have any allergies and stuff like that for treats. And they also, um, they'll ask, like, what size BarkBox. So there's, like, a small and a medium and a large. And since I only wanted to get one, I didn't want to get two for, an, you know, and spend $60. I just didn't want to do that. So what I did, instead of getting a small for Pippi and a large for Betty, I just got a medium because they both like the really big toys. They both like little bitty toys. So I figured, you know, the medium would be fine. And Pippi is a Boston Terrier, so she can eat bigger treats too. Um, so that's what we did. And so that's what they're gonna open right now is the Bark Box. So this is the size of it. And also it comes, you can get, like they have different themes. And like, I don't remember what the theme was, but it, I didn't, I didn't know, know what it was. Right. And so they said you can pick one and just have a surprise theme or whatever. And um, like next month, it's going to be a Scooby-Doo one, which is really cute. Um, but this is just a, a surprise one. I really don't know what it is. It's like, like a, it's got like a bouncer and a bartender. I don't know. It's cute, but I don't know what it is. It's not anything I know. Okay, we're going to get, I'm going to move, let's see if I get in here on the floor. I might move the camera. Hang with me, y'all. Okay, Pippi, come here, look. Let me try to maybe get them in the shot. Come here, Betty, look. Look what Mommy's got. Betty, come here, Betty. They've been playing. If you hear their toenails, they are really long. They haven't been able to go to the vet to get their toenails clipped, and my clippers are dull. They're coming in the mail. I might do a video on how to clip your dog's toenails if anybody needs help. Pepperoni, come here, look. <gasps> look. Let's see what they think. Okay, this is really cute. Let's see how. And then you open it up. Look, it looks like a like a bar. Isn't that cute? Betty, look. Come here. Betty, come here. Pippi, what do you see? What do you 
me see. What is this one? Let's see. It. Let's see. Hang on. Let's figure out the best way to do this. I should have practiced. Okay, I'll put the Bart box on the stool like this. Betty, come here. Look. Betty. They love squeakies. Okay, what is this one? Toxic Critters, Crab, Van Goon. It's got crinkle and a tube squeaker. Look at him. <laughs> so it has a squeak in that. I don't know where. Oh, it's got crinkly hands. He's a crab. Oh. Oh, oh, Pippi, what's that? And Pippi is one years old, and Betty is three. She's a Boston Terrier, and he's a lab. He's like, oh, Pippi. Goodness, here, let me take the tag off of it. They love toys. Come here, Betty. Betty, Betty, come here. Ellie, will you grab him? And then we've got, hang on, Pippi. Look, Betty, come here. Come here, Betty. Look at this. What do you think about him? You like him? You like him? Hang on, sister. I'll get you something. And then we got this little guy. It's got like this thing in it. That'll drive her crazy. Let's see. And this says it's whiskey. Behind the squeaks. Crinkle, ball squeaker, multi-party toy. So, oh, you can put this one apart. So it has two parts. He's, oh, his whole thing is a squeaker. Let me take all these tags off. But you can't have them all. He's very greedy. He doesn't want sister to have anything, do you? Here, pepperoni. Come here, Pippi. You can have this one. You don't like that one? What about this one? What about that one? Can you get it out of there? Can you do that? Oh, it's very good. Oh. And she went and got the other one. Okay, well, they don't like this. Let's see, what is he? This is Bub the Bouncer. This <laughs> is cute. It's got a crinkle on a ball squeaker. These are cute. They're really nice made. Like, you know, some toys are junk and like they just don't last. But these are like, these will last. Like there's not much stuffing in them for them to like take the stuffing out. Betty, you're greedy. You just want them all. I know. You can't have all of them, buddy. Come here. Come here. Show them. Show them toy. Okay, well, I guess you like it. Too. Now they're just running around playing with the toys. I don't know why, what I expected. Anyway, let's move on to the treats. And these are all 100% beef dog treats made in Canada. And this is... What's going to happen? Uh, 1.5 ounces little, it's called Mooshine. How cute is that? 100% beef, air dried, grain free. They're all really like healthy snacks, like not the junk. So let's see. And Pippi has learned a lot. She's been training lately. This is what they look like. I wonder if they're too hard. Hey, Betty, come here, Betty. We should have done that treat first. Oh, Ellie, you moved the whole table. All right, good. If you like it or not. You like it? Let's see if Pippi will do it. any tricks. Pippi, spin, spin. You saw it? Spin. Pippi, spin. Good girl. Let's see if she made it. That's kind of hard. I don't know if she likes it. She's gonna... She's eating it. Oh, these are softer. Okay, this is called Berry and Clyde. And then we got one soft, chewy peanut butter stick. I'm showing y'all everything in case my camera cuts off. Now, stuff like this, I will, they'll do it when they're, when she's in her crate, when they're by the house, because I don't want to start any fights, which, you know, Pippi runs the race, and there's no fight. Okay, these are soft, like little brownies, like little turds. Okay, Betty, come on. Sit. Lay down. Good boy. Good girl. You did it. Did that do it too, Mom? What about me? Let's see if you like it. Oh, he didn't like that when he spit it out. He ate it, though, because if he don't, he knows she's going to eat it anyway. 
I'll break these in half. Okay. Spin. Spin. Hippie. Spin. Good girl. Lay down. Good girl. Elliot's worked hard with her on doing tricks, so the treats are a good thing. So, all together we got three toys, three nice toys, and two bags of treats, and then the chewer stick. I'm not going to give them now. So, I guess you can get more of them if you choose this type, and you can get the whole collection. It shows you in the bottom. I'll show you the picture. So, yeah. I think, um, as far as the price point goes... I think it's worth it because usually when I get them a toy like from Chewy or something, um, they're usually about six or seven dollars for a nice toy that will last. So I think it's worth it. I mean, I don't know if I would want to do it every month um, because they just have so much toys. Like their favorite type of things are like just like I'll, what I'll do is like during Valentine's Day or after Easter, I'll go and get them. You know, on sale. So, um, but yeah, that is it. Pippi, come here. Can you can tell everybody bye? Pippi, come here, Pippi. Come here, Pippi. Oh. Tell everybody thanks for watching. Say thank you for watching. Say we'll see you next time, okay? Okay, you can go play. Yeah, if his if his clippers get here soon, his nails are so long. Um. Because, I mean, he stays in the house pretty much. Plays in the yard. He hasn't been on concrete walking or anything. So, his nails are really long. And um, I don't want to use my old clippers because, like, when I use them, it'll crack his nails if they're not sharp. So, actually, I have one from coming from Chewy and also ordered from one from Amazon about a week ago. So, if y'all want a video of me clipping their nails um, a safe way, because I don't know if you know, but I worked at the animal shelter. I was... Vet tech at the animal shelter, and I was an um, animal control officer, and I uh, fostered animals to um, a local rescue for gosh, probably four years. So I've clipped many nails. So um, I'll probably do that too. Um, but anyways, I hope y'all are all doing good. Um, I miss all of you. So say hi to me in the comments. And if you like this, give it a thumbs up. I'll talk to you later. Bye.